You know, first, I do want to thank the D-line, you know, thank Meeks for getting that pressure on the quarterback. You know, if it wasn't for them, that probably wouldn't have happened. So I most definitely want to give thanks to those boys. And I most definitely was gas like, running 100 yards like that. I ain't did that in a long time. So I felt it for sure. And then Coach mentioned it, but could you guys talk about just wanting the offense to go for it on fourth down? Mm. I mean, yeah, we want our offense to be aggressive because, like, you know, the type of defense we have, like, we're not – Afraid of the challenge, so whether it's backed up, you know, paint um, on our end or in the red zone, just go for it. Like we, we got y'all boys. Like, get it or not. So this is the same mentality for everybody. I guess for both guys, just they were aggressive too. And what did you kind of see defensively that allowed you to to make those stops in some of those fourth and short situations with backed up against your own goal line? Uh, I mean, I know we we knew what they was doing like all week is. They run 12 personnel like most of the game. So it's like just you know, reading our keys and making sure, you know, communicating with everybody like, yo, it's coming here or whatever. Like me and um, D line, we pick up a, you know, they calls and stuff like throughout the game, like continuously. So once we get a, um, I guess, a grip of they calls or what they're trying to run, we let the you let the linebackers in. Everybody just play fast because, you know, if they come in here, like you got this gap and let's just go from there. Like just communication is key. Yeah. We are. Uh... We kind of knew it was going to be a slug fest, and we was prepared to play all four quarters, you know, and that's kind of how we prepare all week. You know, defense was making sure we was on top of everything, everybody making sure, you know, you're coming in, getting your edge to work, getting your edge to film study. That way we could play as fast as we wanted to, and I think we will come to that. Demetrius, does it take any kind of stick to itness or anything when you know you might not be able to get the sack, but if you can affect a throw or get your hand up that it might have a positive result for your team? I mean, yeah, like – um for a D lineman, like the ultimate outcome is like rushing the pass, you want to sack, like right now. But um, teams know uh, they can't hold them to the ball long. It's we either blitzing or we, you know, rushing for it and it's coming fast. So you gotta get the ball out quick. But if you get your hands up, you can, you can affect their throwing angle or whatever. You just get a hand on the quarterback. They feel that pressure. So it's like next time they need, a, next time they you know, feel a uh, sense our presence, like they know we're here. You know, so. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's like the, that you can't get the sack, but it's also good that, you know, you're affecting the throw some type of way. So getting your hands up is definitely, like, important. Trey, last one for me. Aside from being tired, can you, do you remember even just the path that you kind of took of when it opened up for you to kind of be realistic of, like, all right, I see green grass in front of me? Or? Uh, once I caught it, you know, I looked up trying to find where to go, and I seen Marco kind of waving me to come that way. And I just took off, followed him, and I seen all those yellow jerseys in front of me. I knew they was going to make a way for me, so I just trusted it. I waited on my blocks, and it opened up for me. Uh, you guys held them to 58 yards rushing, which this is just another game this year where you guys have held a team under 100 yards rushing, and this time especially it seemed like you guys really came up big, like you know we've mentioned on fourth down. What was it with their rushing game that allowed you guys to really key in and hold them back and lose yardages and sometimes? Um, honestly, like I said, it's communication. So like once like game start, you know, you're getting a feel for a team. Like once you get a feel for it, then you know what's coming. They offenses run the same thing throughout the game, just different times. So once you uh recognize a play from before, then you know that hey, it's coming here, like you ran the same play, we gotta you gotta stop it, do something, you know, climb you know, climb our way through the O line or whatever it may be. But um like Communication, really. Um, just make sure we all on the same page when they come to run. And then, you know, what they were throwing at you guys, was that was that what you expected, you know, a bit more pass-oriented and then, you know, their ability to kind of spread it out like that? Nah, we was, we was expecting to run because they want us to have us to run. Um, first, you know, we got our percentages in, like, uh, P and 10 and then second and seven, and then, you know, it goes, you know, numbers uh, uh, change throughout the uh, downs and distances and stuff like that. So, like, we were leaning more towards the run, but once they started passing, you know, it was like, hey, cool, like, we're just going to pin our ears back and then come, come free. Because it's not, like, a strong suit there, especially since, like, um, that was a backup and stuff. So, um, we knew it was trying to run the ball more than pass. Mm. Mm. And then one last thing for both of you guys, you know, which do you prefer for the other team to pass or run? You say what now? Which do you prefer for the other team to pass or run? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I'd say uh, probably pass. You know, it just get those guys up front an opportunity to go get the quarterback, and it give those guys on the back end an opportunity to make a play as well. So I think I would say pass just because it give everybody a chance to make a play. Honestly, um, 
I say run just so I can so we can stuff it and then go to pass just so you can know you can't do nothing against us. Like um, I think it's every team unless it's like Ar- like Ark State was a pass first team obviously, but I think every team's uh, goal is to establish the run. So like once we uh, stuff and run, stuff and run, all we know you can do is pass, and that's better for us. So I don't really I lean toward uh, more towards the run. Meach, what is it about this defense? You know, overall, throughout the whole season, you guys have been really special. You got a lot of guys on this team who have mm-hmm. been here for a while. Do you think that plays a factor in it, or or just what what do you think is making this defense play at, at, at such a high level and so special this year? Uh, we know it was at state. Um, yeah, it's the one I go home, honestly, and then uh, we just we sat down and had to talk with ourselves. Like, no, excuse me, we meet. Uh, Every week before the game and stuff, talk about our goals and how we got to play and stuff like that. Um, like the last three weeks, I think getting somewhere at like ten turnovers or something like that. Uh, TFLs, everybody running to the ball, everybody flying around just because we had those meetings where everybody let us know like everybody got a job to do. We got to execute and communicate, and that's something we um, hone in on every, like throughout the week in practice. You know, um, scout team give us the best look they can, and um, it pays off because you know we see this look in practice, we know what they want to do, and then. It's just, it's just just feeding off each other. Everybody making plays and stuff like that, and then um, kind of like in the competition with each other for like um, I guess like some belt player of the week uh, defensively because I think we got it like three times consecutively. So it's hopefully it's four like he get it again. <laughs> um, so we just like you know just competing for some. It's, it's it's our edge, you know, just competing with each other and just having fun with it. Um, I, tell, I tell the guys all the time like just go out there, run your plays, have fun. It's just football at the end of the day. It's nothing. Too crazy, and then that's what everybody do. How does it feel out there? Like when I mean, because you can feel it, right? When you're out on the field and you're mm-hmm. playing at such a high level, I mean, what, what is? It, how does it feel out there? Man, you just you just feel the energy, but like you feel that energy. Everybody just want to go. Everybody want to make a play, and obviously, just doing it within the uh, scheme of the defense is something big. You don't want to get um do your own stuff out there, but uh, once you, once you feel that energy from everybody, everybody hype TFLs, everybody flying to the ball, just like you want to play, like it make you want to play. And then obviously like the crowd helps too, especially like um, third downs or you know if we get them in second and long or something like that it helps. Like, we feed off energy. And, um, that's what's been uh, carrying us uh, through these last couple of games. So. And, and lastly, Trey, talk about the first pick because you talked about the the last one, the pick six, but that first one was not an easy pick either. Mm-hmm. Uh. I, you know, I just seen pass. I dropped, and I seen how Marco had got in the backfield and got his hands up. And once I seen the ball in the air, you know, my first thing came to my mind was just make a play. You know, get to the ball, and that's something that we emphasize every week. Eleven hats to the ball, everybody getting to the ball. So I was just doing, you know, whatever I could to help the team, and I was just in the right place at the right time. Points, but still, uh, seemed like you guys struggled. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you guys could attribute that to? Yeah, I mean, they they're a good defense. Um, we're not going to take that away from them. And we knew that coming into the game that um, and statistically they were towards the top of the conference in just about every category. And when, you know, you don't go out there and execute like you should, like a championship team should, um, you have a performance kind of like tonight. Um, I don't think it was bad, but it definitely wasn't to the standard of App State offense that we need to have. So here we are. We can learn from it get corrected on the film, and come back next week. Yeah, Thomas, today you caught your uh, 20th career reception or touchdown um, for App State. I think that's the sixth most all-time. What does that mean to you? Um, it's cool, but I, I, I would have traded it to have a better first half and not put the ball on the ground. Um, I was really kicking myself for that one because I looked at it as if I don't muff that punt, um, it's not even a game in the second half. So. Um, that kind of overshadowed it, but I don't want to focus on all the negatives. So it's it's cool um, to to be ranked up there with some of the greats here. But at the same time, um, that wasn't the performance that I needed to put out there for for myself today and for my teammates. But um, it was just it was really awesome to see how well our defense played because when, like you said, the offense struggled tonight and the and the defense came out and played to to that standard. That's that's what championship teams do. So it was it was good to see. I was I think three for three on fourth downs as a team, and two of those plays ended up being touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Can you just kind of what's it like as a player to know that your coaches are going to be aggressive, and yeah. that it gives you a chance to you know to 
field goals obviously don't win a lot of games. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's really encouraging, especially when you get down there in the red zone, when you know that you have a coach that's all in, you know, it's four down territory. And it's not really just when we're down there about to score touchdowns either. He does it around midfield and him and um, our assistant coaches have been dialed in, you know, statistically with, you know, chances of scoring and game outcomes on, on fourth downs and going forward and stuff. So we know now, um, here we are in week 10, how aggressive he's going to call it. And as players, we, we're just on board with it and, and we know what to expect. So it's, it's a lot of fun, personally, being an offensive guy. But we also know they're going to make the right decisions when it's time to kick a field goal, time to punt, or time to go for it. As a receiving core, when you see the way Chase hangs in there and takes it so he can you know, make that throw at the last second, what does that kind of do to you guys with your connection with him? You know, we're out running routes most of the time, so it isn't until Sunday in film where we can go back and really reflect on how the, the toughness he has. And there's been, you know, just about every game this year, there's a play, and most of the time multiple plays, where we'll go and watch it on Sunday and he throws a touchdown and we don't get to see the back view and how hard he's getting hit. And our receiver coach will just be like, y'all y'all should never complain about a ball not being where it is. Look what this guy has to deal with. And, you know, for, luckily we don't have a core that does that. We don't have a receiving core that, oh, the ball should have been here, should have been there. We know that dude's a warrior, so it's our job to go out there and, and make his life easier by making the catch because we don't want him to get hit, you know, for nothing. And it's – it's really encouraging, you know, not just as a receiver, but a whole team to see a quarterback willing to stand in there and take hits for his football team. That's a guy that the team's going to get behind. Uh, Thomas, you know, the defense that you guys were up against, was it kind of what you expected in terms of coverages and, you know, what, how they were playing you guys? Yeah, we knew there were going to be a lot of um, – their top coverage is cover three. And we got a lot of that to the field. They switched up kind of what they did to the boundary a little bit, and it made it difficult um, on our running game and passing game. And they were really good at disguising when they were going to press and when they were going to bail. Um, so it was just kind of a lot to process and think about on the fly. And we knew coming in what they were doing. It was simple, but when your defense and or offense, whatever it is, whatever your scheme is, is simple – you practice it and do it all the time, so you get really, really good at it. So, like I said, credit to those guys. I mean, um, they, they're out there and they, they know what to do, and they're a veteran group. Um, again, I, I don't think it was how great they were. I think it was more about how we struggled and how we could have been better. But I felt like we had a good game plan going into it. And, you know, it's football. Not, not everything goes as planned. So, you know, it was an ugly win for the offense, but – it was a really good team win. And that win was number four in a row for you guys. Yeah. Um, you know, at the same time, also now top of the East. You know, how are you guys kind of feeling at this point and, you know, looking forward as well? You know, what's the, you know, what's the vibe as we get into the last few weeks of the here of the season? Yeah, I mean, now it's all about finishing. We're here and we've gotten to this point. We've done a great job, you know, bouncing back after the Lafayette game to get back to this point. And this is the type of ball that App State's used to playing ever since I've got here. We've been here late November playing for championships, and this is what we want. We've we got a mature group who's been here before. So, you know, Troy's playing really good ball right now. We're going to have to be, be ready to, um, you know, come back and have a really good week this week to, to take care of them. Thomas, uh, I guess, first of all, t talk about that touchdown that you caught in mm -hmm. the uh, fourth quarter, just to play a little yeah. bit. And yeah, so it was um, a short Z motion where I'll come inside, and majority of the time when I come down that tight, we're going to uh, run off of it. And I believe it was fourth and five, fourth and four, so um, I'm not sure. It was kind of like one of those awkward distances to where our tendency may be to run the ball or do something quick. So when I motion in and I come up and, like, I'm driving right at the safety, I would assume – most of them thought it was going to be a run play because I saw the way their their backers were flowing to the ball. And as soon as I got around, I knew Chase had pressure because of um, a cat corner that came that I saw. So as soon as I got outside the backers, turned my head around, and um, Chase just put it on me, and I was able to um, get into the box. Uh, I haven't seen you.